Hello Virgo, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. So let us see Virgo. Let's see Mer um. <coughs> So let's see Virgo what messages come through for you, right? Let's see. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Okay. Alright. So we have Poised and Co-Create. There's some blessing in disguise coming in. I see why is it a blessing in disguise because in the beginning you'll feel that the worlds are very different the things are very different situations are very different but eventually you'll see that you can co-create something unique here right so let's dive in Virgo Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter okay again two cards building blocks and by the book like very similar energy co-create building blocks this is my Eight of Pentacles energy, co-creator three, three of Pentacles energy. Working alone also and in group also. And one thing here by the book, I see there is something progressing in sequence in your life, right? It's happening in a very traditional way. You're going by uh, how society works, how tradition works, how your, uh, I see generations here, you know, it's like, one generation is setting the rules, other generations are following. Something on the traditional societal front here. There is some, uh, I would say, disappointing energies in your surroundings. When I say disappointing energies in your surroundings, I more or less feel that there is some sort of uh, dissatisfaction, right? Some sort of um, disillusionment. But that's something workable here, right? Building blocks shows me that something is going to move in sequence and you're going to progress over something, right? There are some past disappointments which are still there, some secrets. Yin is the darker energy, right? But we're going to dive in here. For a lot of you, this is simply creating and building and moving forward. Definitely positive energy here. Moving in the positive direction. Okay. Let's dive in, Virgo. Let's see what is this week bringing for you. What are these energies? What are, what are the situations here that you're about to face? Where you're coming from? Seven of Cups. For a lot of you, there was some sort of disillusionment. Again, Yin energy. This, there was some sort of sort of confusion that ended in your life. For a lot of you, made a choice. There's some sort of uh, confusion that's over now. Ace of Wands, and uh, as that confusion that um, that energy of feeling directionless came to an end. A new inspiration took place. A new inspiration entered your life. For a lot of you, you can feel some new fire, some charm in a situation. But despite of that, I feel the energy is showing me that it's like something is being presented to you, which is passionate, exciting. But, Nine of Wands, um... <laughs> you still doubt something it's like yes a lot of confusion is coming to an end so i do see that uh, your guards are a little high about this new inspiration coming your way right let's see Virgo, what else for a lot of you i see this has just happened <laughs> you're keeping i see you very careful very careful about how things proceed it's just that you already at the nine and this one is definitely appealing but you have a fear that what if it adds on to my burden? What if, what if it makes 10 of wands? So yeah, that's very interesting. We're going to see what happens here. Transformation. Wow, what a deep shift here. Okay, five of cups and knight of pentacles. For a lot of you, Virgo, I'm getting this energy that a lot of release is happening in this phase. Like the phase coming towards you, phase coming in this week. I see a sense of release, a sense of shift, a sense of change. There is an opportunity, right? Okay. There's a promise here. That's going to take you to something long term, right? Whatever you expect, whatever long term, whatever potential is there, it's going to be coming in very soon. But before that, there's going to be some sense of shift, some sense of um, change. Um, I do see that when this shift takes place, now death, you know, it's not a usual energy, it's a major arcana. It's a shift coming towards you from the universe and that's going to definitely hit you a little bit. And that's going to uh, force you to discard some primitive 
things here, primitive uh, some things, and then move forward. You will be forced to discard your past thoughts, past regrets, past energies and everything. And you'll be motivated to look forward to the new things coming your way. I hope it's making sense to you, Virgo, right? Because this is going to be transformative. Maybe the basis, I do see the basis are the fears we're talking about here, right? The confusion that has just left your mind. These are the basis of these transformations, right? I do see devil energy at the bottom of the deck. So for a lot of you, there is some toxicity here. But there's an energy of overcoming that too. So potentially it's a good energy. In the near future, you can take it as advice, outcome, or something that you need to keep in mind. Virgo. Justice Virgo. Here you take this stand. Very nice. Three of Swords. Okay, something is a little heartbreaking here and you don't like... Okay, Virgo, I'm getting this energy. Somebody's struggling financially. For a lot of you, there is an offer here though, right? There is definitely an offer being made. But then... Okay the struggle for some of you it's like if it, it, it's a job for example if somebody is uh, giving you something so not, okay if this is a money thing two of pentacles is showing me that there is a struggle uh, to manage money if you're expecting somebody to give you money i see somebody is definitely having a hard time and for a lot of you i do see somebody has been struggling with multiple parties right they've been resisting some things well i do see influences though if you're dealing with a specific person i do see influences but for a lot of you, I see a decision is being made in the near future, right? A decision that is solid, a decision that is, um, that's going to balance your scales, right? And that, that motivation is coming in after this um, change takes place. You'll be a little hurt about some things though, but eventually I see you a little... It's like, you know, it's exactly what, not what you wanted. What's being offered to you or what's being forced on you is not exactly what you wanted, right? So, let's see. Let's see. Virgo. So I want to know what's this fear? I see right now you're going through a phase where something new is definitely being promised to you. Moving on, feeling emotional. Okay, night of, okay, wow, okay. For a lot of you, I'm getting this energy that I see you giving a lot of compassion here. It's like your energy is very giving and compromising, especially with the Six of Swords to the uh, Queen of Cups. Very giving, very nurturing, very um, compromising energy. And this Page of Wands is showing me that there is a new idea being presented to you yes for a lot of you there is a new approach new idea that is being presented to you i don't think you trust this person virgo i don't think whosoever this person is whatsoever this energy is i don't think you trust it what is this transformation nine of cups okay there's happiness here though all right Wow, we'll go you again that there's an energy of not trusting something. Be careful of control being exerted. We'll go devil is showing up and I remember devil was there earlier also. There is a toxic influence in your surroundings. We'll go. Somebody, if you are in a relationship with somebody, I see that somebody is getting manipulated by someone. You're dealing with somebody who is definitely happy about the changes happening in your life. If you're dealing with a specific person you're trying to care about, you're building blocks with someone, uh, you are the other person. Somebody is under some toxic influence. And this person is definitely getting manipulated by someone. And that's having some repercussions on your emotional and mental state as well. I do see there's going to be something being offered to you. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Let's see. What is being offered to you here? You don't really like it. What is the, is being offered to you? I don't think you like it. Empress, interesting. Seven of Swords, interesting. Yeah, star. For a lot of you work with somebody is offering you something. It's like they're showing you something. And now, now let me just um, tell you what I'm picking up, right? If it makes sense, you just see. 
somebody is offering you a promise it might not be happening on the ground as of now for example babe if you accept this proposal i'm going to get you this in future i'm going to give you this promotion in future you're going to get the post so and so in the future or i'm going to buy a new house for you in the future or something some future promises or some future value is is being shown to you here which not necessarily be true right i see somebody is definitely trying to give you a hope but they have a strategy behind the scenes which you don't see right now for example they might promise you something that if you do this today i'm going to give you this in future but you can can you really trust the intentions especially when we have the devil energy here that's something i'm picking up be careful with that so justice to the three of swords there's a decision that's going to hurt you a little bit but the decision is going to be made by you sometimes our own decisions hurt us that is something i'm picking up sometimes we have to take a stand sometimes we have to decide something and our own decisions they just it's like you know you have to be fair and you have to be more uh you know honest and if they make sense like for example i don't know i'm not getting that exact example to show you here but sometimes our own decisions it's like we have a continuous state of struggle whether to pick what we enjoy or what we want to do or to pick what is more fair and i see you are choosing what's more fair that's going to hurt you a little bit what's that wheel of fortune wow king of swords holy somebody here is very straightforward in the near future i see an air sign gemini libra aquarius destiny is uh, okay for some of you i'm picking up if there's an air sign especially if there's an aquarius who has been ghosting you or who somebody is definitely accepting a shift and a change here it's like you break for example if you're breaking up with some somebody virgo this person is definitely pissed off you are feeling that your cycle with this person is over and you need to turn away and i you know you need to let go of this because there's a future there's a new fo- new future new hope being promised to you turning away from somebody but uh, sometimes it's just you feel that what decision you're making is fair right it might not be exactly what we wanted but it's fair and you will have this thought you might have this thought that i don't know will i make the right choice for of cups page of cups yeah you did make the right choice okay so interesting very interesting now i'm giving you two scenarios if you're dealing with somebody at the moment who is getting influenced by negative energies in their surroundings so this person is uh, going to say something or do something make a decision that's going to hurt you for a moment and then they will come back to apologize right that's one thing second thing is like if you've if you've been getting if you've been dealing with somebody who's been toxic in your life for a very long time you're realizing that this person is just giving you false promises and you need to see the bright future somewhere else you might simply end this energy and the cycle they're going to come back and apologize but you might not give them another chance so i'm getting these two storylines you see, just see what resonates with you right virgo anything else let's see how let's have some miscellaneous messages there will be an apology that's <laughs> that will be offered to you let go long distance wow some travel involved here somebody is at long distance short term what could there some short term thing ending here right some fling for a lot of you i see there was a past fling to the past person judgment call but you're working over something new a lot of you i do see that a very um if somebody was wishy washy and you know somebody was cold very bossy detached you're ending a relationship with this person karma oh wow toxic cycle dark male children i see a very karmic uh, situation ending in your life it's like it was like a big karmic story of your life there are new opportunities here can be a little darker male new opportunity and a new door opening i do see open relationship if there was an open relationship that's coming to an end i see a beautiful energy of innocence and fun especially when it comes to the fresh and fresh energies we're talking about here a lot of major arcana Wow, we have again distant horizons i see long distance energy here unexpected income for some of you i'm feeling yeah that 
uh, a very unexpected uh, an income or some sort of payment that was pending it's going to come in this month some pending payment from long distance can show up mature man okay what do you want to say mature man sudden wealth wow for a lot of you it's like somebody is looking for the ways it's that they're very confused they're having some expectations and they want to find the way out right and uh, sudden wealth is showing me that some mature man some elderly figure in the situation is going to offer you something you might not trust the person in the beginning but eventually i do see you moving towards some sudden gains right anything for work or anything else for work or a lot of you this can be a, a proposal can, i'm picking up bossy energy a proposal coming in okay forgiveness but i do see somebody coming in to apologize and for a lot of you i'm getting an air sign wants to come in and apologize nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointment and this is something so much in concurrence to this energy that we have been getting yin five of cups any past disappointment no longer holds on to shouldn't be i mean no longer should stay in your mind right you need to just let go of it rest and relaxation is essential you need to take a break sometimes we all have the fundamental need to take a break Virgo. if you have been following something by the book if you've been following something traditionally if you've been working over something step by step and you feel that okay i'm just going going and going but <laughs> you know i don't know where, where i'm reaching i don't know what's happening here you need to take a break Virgo. right so i'm gonna leave you here guys thank you so much for watching Bye bye